Juliana is the smartest person on earth. Well, I play Juliana Smithton. I'm a research scientist. Her life is about to change. She's perched on the edge of, of true success, the true success that she's been striving for for years. Just at this pinnacle of her triumph, everything is really step by step stripped away from her. In the course of the play, I'm discovering that my wife, there's something about my wife that is troubling to me. So we spend most of the play trying to figure out what's going on with her. And there really is this dire need to know what what's happened, what's happened to her. That's really the energy that drives the play. It will be a really interesting play for an audience to watch because it will take a while for them, first of all, I think, to get their bearings. And then things still continue to shift as the audience is having fun piecing together where we are in our realities. They're putting together our history, what we went through 10 years before. Trying to stay connected to a person that you love when that person is in deep trouble is one of the, the, the difficult complexities of the play. Bounces around within settings, in time, forward and backward. As the play moves, um, there are these mysteries, there are they're just small pieces of it that don't add up at first. It's a puzzle. It's something that I, I think I'd be fascinated watching it. It's actually kind of a puzzle for us still, right at the moment. I have a friend who, who says that, that a lot of my plays really are about people being found, and people being cared for. I really think in the end that's, that's what this play is about. It's about this very brilliant person who has a comeuppance and who through that comeuppance is finally cared for in a way that she's never been. It's, it's a bit of a mystery where we are, why these people are acting this way, what has happened, and it all gets solved and so you have fun. I think, putting that together. And then once that's together, then I think the emotional part of the play, I hope, kicks in. A good story should leave you with the feeling, really, that nothing will ever be the same again. I hope that um, it's uplifting in a sense that in, um, people take away the idea that they don't want to let moments go by. I think that's really the point of any really good story is that the world is now different.